All right. You're welcome back. This is News File. It's your most authoritative news analysis platform. And here on News File, we put Ghana first. <coughs> and I'd like to introduce um, a guest who comes in to replace um, our previous uh, guest um, on this matter. He comes in to replace Inus Afuseni, and that is Isaac Adungo. He's MP for Bogatanga Central. Thanks for coming, sir. Yeah, thanks for Right. Okay. So once you mention matters of banking and finance and economics, mm -hmm. then his name pops up. Mm -hmm. Right. So we now have to deal with the issue of the bank collapse. And as you know, and from the indications that were given two years ago, two, three years ago, it is now that the prosecutions appear to have commenced. Um, and as we are aware, uh, this is just the first of them, and that uh, number of them will come as well. There were two banks first, and there were five banks in the second round of the bank collapse. Uh, will that also extend to the microfinance situation where there were hundreds that also um, collapsed? Well, so um, let's begin on that. And the AG... Uh, this week has filed charges in the High Court against the founder of the Capital Bank, Atu Asian, and three others. Questions are coming up as why these are the only who have been charged, number one, and whether these charges are really maintainable charges, stealing money laundering charges, will they uh, stand the test of the law? There are lawyers who have written to say, uh, sort to poo-poo what is going on, and there are those who are raising questions about the number of people who are being put in court, because uh, there's the civil action angle, and in the civil action, um, as many as how many people, over a dozen people, are standing trial for, mm -hmm. uh, among others, for defrauding for fraud, committing fraud. Why are they not part of this list? We'll try and uh, unravel or understand that. So maybe we should start with um, the lawyers. Okay. And I know somebody who is in a very difficult situation this morning. <laughs> very, very difficult situation this morning. I don't know how he will go around this. Um, but OK, so mm -hmm. let, me, let me ask this. Start with you, Penka first. Um, so this is the Attorney General's department. It does appear you are now succumbing to pressure mm -hmm. because the public has been asking, where are the prosecutions you talked about? And you're almost running out of your tenure, four-year tenure. So is this, is this sort of tokenism or what's going on? Thanks, Samson. Um, obviously not tokenism at all. Mm. Obviously not tokenism. And, and let me also put this in perspective as we set out. I have, I want you to cross check from 92 whether there has been any period in history when 21 officials have been put before trial. Check it. Whether there has been any period under any attorney general that we had 21 people in mm -hmm. four different cases in court, yeah. high profile cases in court. At the same time. Yeah, the National Service case. There are way more than 21. Yes, Ho hold it. Yeah. Hold it. Mm. You know, I'm talking in respect of political appointees. Okay. All right? Just check that in history. If you have it, you can let me know. Because in the cases that we are in court with, and I'm not talking about whether the persons are guilty or not. That's not the argument. That would be for the court to determine. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about if you look at the NCA, mm. you look at SNIT, okay. you look at um, uh, um, Opuni and, 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 and Agongo, and then you look at um, uh, Venture Capital, yeah, and you look at Maslock. Mm -hmm. The number of persons involved. Mm -hmm. Let's check whether since 92 we've ever had any such numbers. And my checks reveal that we've never in our history had any such numbers. So it is not true that there is tokenism on our, on our part. 
Honorable, you know, I just take that one now. Because Kwame Nkrumah is fine. This is the fourth republic. After Kwame Nkrumah is overthrown, they are commission. They were way more than 22. In the fourth republic. Uh-huh. Now, so, Samson, time has come for us to review other documents and to go to court. <coughs> and let me say this. There were even people within your very, party very who were clear. accusing the Attorney General of not doing anything. Yes. And that you had talked about prosecution, prosecution, and you are not doing anything. You see, yeah. sometimes, eh, mm -hmm. Samson, you push such people to mention those cases. Mm -hmm. And then they will give you media reportage of alleged corruption. Mm -hmm. Which is no evidence for prosecution. Yeah. That's totally different. Mm. You see, you can only say that we haven't prosecuted if you have evidence that there is conclusive investigation <coughs> on the part of CID, IOCO, or any other state entity. The docket is before the Attorney General mm. and it has not been prosecuted. The Capital Bank and U Team Bank came down how many years ago? Why has it taken a when, when did the docket of these banks come to the Attorney General? That's what you should be asking yourself. When, mm. Not when they came down. And the extensive documentation involved, eh, mm. Samson, mm -hmm. the investigators had to do a lot more. And even when they came with it and we reviewed it, we realized that there were still a lot of gaps. Mm -hmm. So prosecution, I, 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 otherwise maybe you are urging us to persecute people. But if we have to prosecute, we have to follow due process. Mm. You know that it is not in debate mm -hmm. that the the decision to prosecute lies in the bosom of the Attorney General by yes. Article 88, yes. strictly speaking. Mm -hmm. But you see, you exercise that discretion in compliance with Article 296, mm -hmm. the exercise of discretionary power. Yeah. You don't have to look at a person and by the fact that you resent that person mm -hmm. or you do not like that person's uh, nose or face, then you start taking the person to court. Mm -hmm. That's not it. You're supposed to go through processes. And you know that when you go to court, something. The very day you arrive, the judge has a discretion to discharge the accused person. <laughs> if, for example, <coughs> the facts do not uh, support the charges that you have leveled against yeah. the person, and he can at that stage alone discharge. You can and apply with the for defense a lawyer. That's what we we'll look at first. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and embarrass. So the attorney general, yeah. Yeah. we don't have to run to court mm. because we want to satisfy people's mm. anger. Yeah. Mm. We have to go to court only when we are ready to prosecute. Okay. Otherwise, we'll be engaged in persecutions, mm. and we should not be doing that. Yeah. You see. We don't want to wake up tomorrow morning and people begin to score as marks mm -hmm. how many cases we've lost in court. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. We want to exercise our discretion professionally. And I have said this time and again that people do not probably know who they are dealing with. They are talking about the Honorable Gloria Kufu. Mm -hmm. you, 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 people don't know who they are dealing with when you're talking about her. Very firm, fair, and strong. Mm -hmm. I have worked under her for two and a half years. And I can tell you, that you cannot manipulate her in any way. Mm. If she's convicted that this is what is right, mm. she will do it. Right. You see, so they may be talking about delays. You see, justice delayed, they may say justice is denied. But justice mm. rushes, justice buried. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we, have, we have at you least, see? we have officers from one bank. Mm -hmm. We have six <coughs> banks left. Mm -hmm. So, that, no, that no, be, no, I'm just when, talking when, about when will that still come limiting out? myself to... Mm. To, to, this, to, to this bank that we've taken to, to court. Yeah, yeah, and but, without, but we need the general information. When, when can we expect? I can assure you mm. and assure your viewers, and, and I have the authority of my boss to say that at least two, of, two others are ready and will be, will, will be ruled out very soon. Commendable. Two others. Commendable. Two other banks are ready and will be ruled out. We're just fine tuning. And when we find, I'm unable to disclose which ones they are mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. But two others are ready. And very soon, when we put the finishing touches, they will follow Capital Bank. It is only Capital Bank that mm -hmm. is going to court. Okay. And it may not necessarily be the case that all the banks that have gone down will go to court. Because some of them may have been as a result of civil wrongs. Yeah, okay. If you cannot establish crime, mm -hmm. even though <coughs> the bank has collapsed due to the conduct of certain persons, mm -hmm. but those conducts are not criminal. Mm -hmm. There are civil wrongs that mm -hmm. led to that. Maybe you did not act in good faith yeah, okay. and, and all that. But we have an established crime. Mm. Such matters may not necessarily go to court. There may be civil remedies okay. to those particular ones. Okay. But those that we have established crime, we will be able to take them to court. Mm. And again, it brings me to this particular issue and, now and, before and, us. And how soon? And the commentaries that mm. are being run, right. Samson. I, I have heard people, you see, when matters come before court, we don't discuss the merits. Mm. Okay. We just yeah. look at them as they are yeah. and allow the prosecution to make its case 
the defense will mount a defense, yeah, and it yeah. is for the judges to determine the guilt or otherwise mm -hmm. of the persons. Yeah, so I'm not able to tell you that in Capital Bank, mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a, an ironclad case. The mm -hmm. people are going to be convicted. No, that's mm -hmm. not why I'm here. Mm -hmm. okay. We are going to, as a state, present our mm -hmm. case. Mm -hmm. how, soon, how soon are we going to have these two other you know, dockets ready go to put in court? You see, as I said, mm -hmm. we, we are looking for some little bit of information to polish up our charges. Okay. That's why I don't want to give you a definite date. But all but these it will people, not be long at all. all these people have been attending to investigations at Yoko and uh, mm -hmm. a special uh, committee. Team. Yes, please. Uh, since the bank collapse. Yes, please. Okay. Because, you know, you know and, as you and, investigate, and they have been on new bail. issues come they up. Have been on they bail. are on bail. Okay. New issues come up. Okay. Sometimes you are investigating a matter, a certain disclosure is made, you have to rope in other people. Mm. Again, and you know, when, even when they bring the file to us, something, sometimes you have to review it. Mm. And after you've reviewed it, you have to then say that go back. Okay. And then check these areas. In this matter, why only four? When... People are asking when in the civil case where they are being asked, their, their directors and shareholders are being said to, are said to have done some wrong, you have as many as 16 of them. Uh, you, had, you, are, you are retrieving money mm -hmm. from each one of these 16. Mm -hmm. Money you said mm -hmm. they got by fraud. Mm -hmm. Why has that not found expression in the criminal matter? In the civil matter, you have William Atuasian, you have Mensah Otabel. Oheniba, <coughs> uh, Stephen Enchel, Kingsley, Atta Gansa, Utabel and Associate, International Central Gospel Church, Kwejo AEC Eshrin, Isaac Osa Thompson, mm -hmm. Kofi John Kofi Mensa, Edwin Obin Donko, First Gerard Odonko, who is in this one, um, um, uh, Amada uh, Montia, Kofi Kwakwa, Francis Edu Mante, and Isaac Osa Thompson Mensa. Something in my view, you are one of the highly respected lawyers. In my view, and I am entitled to it. I'm not the doing lawyer. I'm not doing lawyer. I'm hosting and moderating the program. No, 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 no. In my view, <laughs> and I'm entitled to it. And my very good brother <laughs> and friend, I, uh, interestingly, Andrew, the, the three of us, the three of us were in the Kwafu Hall. Uh, At the same time, oh, we were very good friends. Okay, go ahead. You know. You see, the, the, there's a distinction between civil and criminal cases. Mm -hmm. And I want us to put that distinction very clear. Mm -hmm. the, the, the proof in civil matters is just on the balance of probabilities. Mm -hmm. Which of the two the judge should believe at the end of the case. Mm -hmm. But in criminal matters, the proof is beyond reasonable doubt, which we all know. So again, it is our discretion exercise based on the set of facts that are available to us as an attorney general. So you may have your sentiments. You may be so angry about somebody's conduct and all that. But if by the evidence available to us, that conduct does not amount to a crime that can be prosecuted in court, you will find the person not being prosecuted, even though there will be a civil case mounted against the person. All right. So that is the basic reason. Good. You know, otherwise, you may just lump all of them together. You go with criminal processes, and then you'll be disgraced in court. Yeah. I know some lawyers, mm -hmm. when you appear in court, in criminal matters, mm -hmm. they are very critical. Yes. And they will go to the core of the matter. If you don't take care, you will get embarrassed there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they will raise certain issues that, I mean, they will ask, even ask fundamental questions, mm -hmm. whether the conduct you are complaining about is a crime. Of course, that's what they are paid to do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you have to pass judgment carefully. Mm -hmm. And you have to come to the conclusion that, look, this conduct, by the facts, left unchallenged, an offense has been committed. And that is exactly what we do. You know that we draw prima facie evidence that, look, by the evidence available to us, we are very convinced that if it is not challenged, it can secure conviction. And then when you make up that mind, then you know the appropriate charges. And remember that a conduct may be so reprehensible, but if it is not founded on an offense defined by law, you cannot charge a person with anything. Okay. You know. So as far as the Capital Bank is concerned, if it's William Atuasian, the founder, uh, Tetenete, uh, Fitzgerald Odonko, and Kate Corte Papafio, who will stand trial? That is the determination we have made. Okay. And this begins, is it Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. All right. Um, so mm -hmm. 
I have questions for him, but I know I'm mm -hmm. not allowed to ask. Okay. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> but you, come yeah. on. So, uh -huh. so, from what you have seen, Martin, yeah. Yeah. and I want you guys to deal with it in that level, and then I come to come. Okay. the guys here who do the economics of it. Hey, but an yeah. uh, Uncle Kweku is more than a lawyer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at uh, sea here. Uh, <laughs> Stranded. Okay. We'll take him to write the entrance exams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so... What do you say from the charges you see? Primarily mm -hmm. theft mm -hmm. and money laundering. Yes. And conspiracy to do, to yes. steal and to, to launder. Yes. What do I say about the charges? Mm. I, you see, hmm. once again, today has been the same answer. You, you know what they did? You know, they put out the charges, but left out the facts portion. Right. You see, and so for us as lawyers, when you see the charge sheet, you, you should see what we call the accompanying facts. Mm. So because... They didn't add that. Once again, we are grouping in the dark. Mm. So I'll limit myself to say what I said earlier in the week that it's very exciting. But we are okay. fairly familiar with some yeah, aspect the, of yes, the Yes, the boldest report and right. that. Yeah, so of course, let's repeat again before Not I Not even boldest, but the Bank of Ghana's own statement okay. when it was collapsing these banks. Yes, the liquidity support and that. So once again, before I continue, let's repeat. A man is innocent and so what? Proving, Proving guilty. guilty. And you, it's very obvious to everyone here that we don't have all the facts. We don't have all the information, but we are compelled to comment based on bits and pieces. So this analysis may be very faulty. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so this apart, I must say that for me, I see that we have really done well, extremely by coming uh, for the trial. That is to say, by taking a decision to actually bring the trial to fruition. Sam, it's in the context of the fact that, you know, when this matter happened, people called for these criminal prosecutions day and night, but it never happened, mm. and it took so long. So much so that this matter, even if I said it's gone to the back burner, it's not accurate. It had totally fallen off. It wasn't a hot issue for debate in the public space. And all of a sudden, the government came to say, oh, the trial is on. Mm. So for me, it brought me so much The president excitement. gave the indication at the bar conference. Exactly. Right. Uh -huh. so, so, and if you check, look at the matters that were being discussed months before the president gave the hint. This matter wasn't a hot kick, you see. So the fact that all this while that we're complaining, the government was working steadily behind the scenes to try to bring the trial to fruition, it's commendable. We should comment because what would then happen is that you see, as we've stated, we don't know whether they will be guilty or they'll be acquitted. So we will not talk about that. But we, we should be very happy for the fact that the trial is going to take place. And every day that there's a court trial, Joy FM will carry it, other media will carry it. So through that, we will be sensitized, we will be educated. It will serve as a warning, as a signal, you see. So that is where we will reap most benefits. Mm. And don't forget the naming and shaming, because for lay people, and they will say, oh, there is no smoke without what? Fire, right? They will say, hey, I mean, of all the people in this world, why is it that you are the only ones? You see, th th that way of reasoning. From the charges you see, what are the ultimate sanctions if, okay. if the people are found guilty? Yeah, so for the charge of stealing, it ranges from a fine up to a maximum of 25 years imprisonment. And then for the money laundry, from a fine of 5,000 penalty units, which is about 60,000 Ghana, up to 10 years imprisonment. So as I've said, for me, the emphasis is not on the imprisonment. Please, let's take it one <coughs> day at a time. The fact that there's going to be a trial. And also, Sam, since you are closer, maybe I'll even yield the rest of my time. What I want to find out is that these officers, the AGs uh, officers who have been investigating, to what extent have you freed them from the other cases? Because we know that the AG is overstretched. Mm. AG herself asked for about 350 lawyers a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. The finance minister never gave. And that's mm. how come the police are doing most of the prosecutorial work in a middle income country, mm. which is so strange. And that's why we've been calling for government to face out these policemen, bring in lawyers. Kenya so, did this. So a you few are saying that ago. the AG's lawyers will be doing these cases must be free from all other cases so that they pay attention to this. Exactly. Please, and let's see that one transparency on that. How Please. about the suggestion for dedicated courts to a, and also for speedy trial and also to, uh, if possible, allow for a telecast? 
I'm for it, 300%. Earlier in the week on the Super, uh, Super Morning Show, was it on Thursday or so? Mm. Yes, uh, Daniel Daze took us through that, that kind of interview. We advocated for it. So, AG, you are here. Let's see transparency. We want to be sure that the officers working on this bank collapse issues, that is their main work. And then let's have that <coughs> transparency. Let's ask for the court to uh, permission from the CJ to tel telecast the proceedings because that will help all of us. Because in saying this, as I keep saying, it's not as if we are so morally upright. Even scripture says that our right righteousness is like what? Filthy rats, right? right? Mm. So we all want to learn and be cautioned. You see, it? Mm. yes, that's okay. the upshot. Okay. Um, CJ would, some would say, would allow this, but. CJ Akufo. <laughs> we should ask. We should allow a test. Let, let's ask. I, I don't know. And you know, she's mm. in favor of technology. You know, she's one CJ who no, has. People say she's in favor of technology, but what some of the actions she has taken in the court mm -hmm. suggests the contrary. And then she's reversed it. That's the lawyers not using laptops. And they've reversed it. And for <laughs> me, I'm a cocky optimist. Okay. Let's make the uh, application, let's mm. request. And then we'll take it from We're there. relaxing the wigs. People were hoping to do away with the wig. You know, wearing a wig and a gown yeah. in this tropical sun. Yeah, we are back to it. You have to wear it or you are in trouble. Yes, yeah. yes. That, that, that's okay. one that's troubling. <laughs> right. It's not being worn elsewhere. Uh, <laughs> elsewhere, but elsewhere they are doing away and doing for criminal uh -huh. you know, trial purposes and uh -huh. so on. Anyway, uh, so, yes, but mm -hmm. Martin, just this small bit. Okay. What do you also say about the numbers of the accused persons mm -hmm. in, the, in the criminal matter, in the, yeah. this thing. Yeah. Because the, initially, it was, it was in the public, and mm -hmm. the Bank of Ghana announced it. Mm -hmm. The boldest report and all of those mm -hmm. have shown yes. Yes. that there's a number of people. Yes. And if you see the civil process, yes. all these people have been asked to refund certain amounts of money. Yes. Yes, I know. The, so the elephant in the room is what? Reverend Mensah Otabel. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. That, that's a very In fact, there are MPP people, uh -huh. big wigs, who have yes. gone on radio yes. to say mm -hmm. that he is non-prosecutable, and that's why he's not being touched. Yes. And that, of course, prosecution is a political decision, mm -hmm. and the government will not dare. Yes. Exactly. That's a problem. So here we are left with the conspiracy theories. But I must also indicate that the last I heard, you know, these conspiracy theories, I'd heard the president said he wasn't going to have anything to do with it, so Yoko should proceed. Okay? So based on that, those uh, rumors, I thought he would be part of the prosecution, uh, I mean, the persons to be prosecuted, but it hasn't been. So ultimately, once we've decided that this country is a country governed by the rule of law. Or is it the case, really? Uh -huh that the Bank of Ghana mm -hmm. and all those who were initially postulating mm -hmm. that all these people mm -hmm. will face, you know, mm -hmm. criminal prosecution mm -hmm. and all, the finance ministry people saying all that, mm -hmm. they were all wrong. They didn't know what they were about. <laughs> That's difficult to say, Sam, once again, because I've, I'm not privy to all the files. So in matters like this, it means that we are compelled to rely on the good faith of the AG. Maybe now with the Freedom of Information uh, Act That's coming out, you know what we're going to do? Maybe with time, we would ask to access the, the files so that we can also read you know, the information based upon right. which the AG made the decision to prosecute only a few. Okay. With Freedom of Information, we should ask that the AG should give us. Mm -hmm. Then we can also read and analyze. Okay. Then we can come to a definite conclusion. If that information is not exempt. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> now... I don't know whether I should start with you or go to Keku. Now, so let's, let's, let's uh, continue from your end. We know that you are one of those who have, you know, who belong to that advocacy, that all of this <coughs> is something that the government has brought upon itself. Otherwise, how much, how much is it that the taxpayer is having to, you know, use for this again? Is um, it 13? Yeah, now it's about 13, but it will rise up to 20. It will rise up to 20 billion, billion yeah. Ghana cities. Mm. Yeah, Ghana cities. Okay, yeah. used to hold this situation. Mm. And you have belonged to the school that says we could have used less than a quarter of that to re restore and, you know, as it were, sanitize the situation and still have the banks functioning. Uh, where we are, what do you say? Well, let me greet your listeners and to my constituents because mm -hmm. I just joined. Um, for me, 
the action that is being taken is of no relevance to me. Hmm. It's of no relevance to me because my issue is whether or not we should have collapsed Capital Bank and the rest of the banks. That is my fundamental question. It is not to suggest that individuals, directors, and executives would not have misconducted themselves in relation to their fiduciary role in that campaign. But I'm saying that when a company is wronged, that company is the victim. And to the extent that the victim is now killed, whilst you now go after the people who wronged the victim, it's a travesty of justice. Hold it there. Let's hear Atuasian. Prior to this, the founder of the bank, prior to this, he, the charges being preferred, he spoke to Paul Admortry on Good Evening Ghana and actually prayed. He spoke in tongues as well. Let's hear. Okay. You so call it loans and advances. Loans and advances are, is, 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 is our capital. Because... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Universal Bank has more stricter regulation. Mm -hmm. So once we became a Universal Bank, what then happened was that the system and the dashboard applicable for a Universal Bank is totally different from that of what is savings and loans. Mm -hmm. So then we had to tell, I would hit capital. Mm -hmm. Okay, but is that we're going to have to ring fences. This is legacy issues, non-performing loans. We're going to box it together. Now, shareholders was, were going to escrow their shares into Treasury mm -hmm. because we had two challenges. In as much as we grew fast from a microfinance to a savings and loans into an investor bank, it was the same thing that also sort of gave us a challenge. And the challenge was for us to be able to, as it were, clean up the books and make sure that going forward as a universal bank, we're going to be able to do the things we're supposed to do to achieve the needed success. So we ring fenced it. Two things that was going to happen. If you're going to look for an investor to come in, the investor was going to come into what we call the good bank and not a bad bank. Mm -hmm. The good bank is the one that is doing well, is excelling, is doing fantastic. At the time we did this, the good bank was probably the second or the third profitable bank in Ghana. The good bank on the books of capital. On the, on the books of capital. Mm -hmm. So the bad bank is what we ring things and we call it shareholder loan. It was not money that shareholders took from the bank. Which is what was reported. Which was what was reported. And the whole nation was outraged. Obviously, if I was a citizen and I heard that people took that kind of money, I would behave the same. Let me ask you that. In those two weeks that you yourself say the whole nation was outraged. And I never chop a dime, Paul. Paul, what is the point in our funds? What is it? It is my baby. That makes sense. It's your bank. It's my bank. I gave back to the bank. Well, but they say people set up a bank and rob it. Yeah, but how can you do that? If people do it, looking at where I have come from, migrated from an unregulated institution to a regulated space, and now to a universal bank, why would I want to do that? Paul, mm -hmm. I was also being insulted. And that was when I got amazed how narrative can be turned and twisted. <coughs> okay, so continue. Uh, and, the, and the substance of what he had to say simply was that the monies that they have been asked to refund or to pay, and the monies that they are being is being suggested they stole was actually not stolen money, <clears throat> and there was no money laundering. These monies never came to them and their private pockets. It was actually not as in money giving to them they took, but it was legacy issues and debt from the commencement of their operations. And they decided as shareholders and directors, so to speak, to share it among themselves in a way to prop up a good bank. And if they made dividends to pay, now they are being tried for theft and money laundering. You see, uh, the challenge is, like we've all said, we, are, we have a, a difficulty going into the merits of the case. Mm. But my question is, if a shareholder is proven to have stolen money from a bank, do we kill the bank? That is my, my basic question. If directors are proven to have acted fraudulently in relation to a bank, do you kill the bank? <coughs> if you look at the, all the grounds for revocation of a license, you don't see that feature anywhere. 
So this bank is a separate legal entity entrusted in the care of others. We are saying that they did not take good care of that child. Instead of rescuing that child and giving that child to proper custody <coughs> and care, we'll rather kill the child and start looking for the parent who misconducted himself in relation to the care of the child. It simply doesn't make sense. So we are in court today to recover monies that are owed to this child. But where is the child when we recover the money? Basic question, where will the child be when we recover the money? So my basic principle here is that no matter what occasioned the challenges of Capital Bank, it did not form the grounds for the collapse of the bank. You said, where is the child? I thought that child has been given to a new parent. No, that child, when you revoke a license, mm. the law is quite clear. You appoint a receiver. You appoint okay. a receiver for an undertaker. Yes, but somebody took the good assets of the bank. No, so you, 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 it's basically like the child is like a goat. You, you call somebody to supervise the killing of the goat. And somebody says, I want the leg. Okay, somebody says, I want the head. And so CBG comes to take the leg and the head. And you leave the intestines and the others for a receiver to find people to buy. As for capital and UT, it is commercial Ghana, uh, GCB bank. Yeah, took they them. took the legs yeah. and the heads. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now the receiver has been given the intestines to look for somebody to buy. And after that, the receiver who is the undertaker is calling all the people whose obligations have to be met by the dead body to come so the monies that have been collected can be shared to them and they go away. So you cannot say the child lives. The child doesn't live. That child is giving birth, the, the, the birth certificate of that child is the license. When you revoke that license and you appoint a receiver, you substitute it with a death certificate. And so that child doesn't exist anymore. And I'm fighting for that child that has been unfairly killed because of the offenses of others. Mm -hmm. And I have read this, if you read this document cover to cover, mm -hmm. the true intent of the Banks and Special Deposit Taking Institutions Act 2016 at 930 is essentially to give opportunity to any struggling financial institution to be rehabilitated and to be revived. In fact, killing is a rarity in this document. Mm -hmm. You mean a rarity? Yes. Mm. It is the last, very last resort. Even when you are revoking the license, okay, <clears throat> the processes that you need to follow are quite spelled out. So for instance, you are told that even before you attempt to revoke that license, you have a certain number of days, 45 days, to engage these shareholders, write to them, okay, let them propose to you how they intend to, 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 to resuscitate this company. Mm -hmm. If you are not satisfied... We are told they did all of this, but the Bank yes, of Ghana but, was but, not convinced. But, yes, if you are not convinced, <laughs> if you are not convinced, mm. and you say the bank is even insolvent, <coughs> the law now gives you options. Put that bank into administration. And administration is a road to recovery per this law. That is why... When oh, you but I thought others had said <coughs> that when you put the banks into administration, you are rather... It's a road to death. It is the because way... Because once the customers begin to hear that it's yeah. in administration... Yeah. It's going to die, so they don't come anymore. No, but it depends on how you, are, how you do that. Mm. You see, even insolvent companies, this law says, mm. how do you define an insolvent? It says it's not just the, 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 the assets and liabilities on the face of the balance sheet, mm. but it is a proper valuation based on valuation standard. So you can't even pronounce a company to be insolvent until you have taken steps to value its assets. Mm and to compare those assets to its liabilities. All of that is to give the, the bank the chance to recover a lot of its assets that were undervalued, mm. and for which reason the reporting on the balance sheet doesn't show a true and fair position of the bank. I see. So at the end of the day, you are even allowed to go and appoint an advisor who is supposed to support this bank, even when you put it in administration. Administration, I told you, is a road to recovery, because the, 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 the administrator, in one month, he's supposed to give us a fair understanding of where we are when he came in. I see. After that, he's supposed to produce a report that comes with an action plan on how to restore that bank. And that action plan includes exploring opportunities of new capitalization from existing shareholders, exploring possibilities of new capital from new shareholders, exploring the position of actually mandatory restructuring of debt facilities. The main objective 
is to give that bank the best opportunity there is to survive. And I'm saying that if Boulders came and said that a bank's license was procured because the figures that they brought for capital were manipulated, granted. Okay? How do you determine that those figures were, were manipulated? You take a pause in two minutes. Yeah. Don't yeah. forget that that bank was already, it's not a greenfield bank. In other words, they didn't set it up from scratch. It wasn't a new bank. It was a, a, a financial institution that was already operating. Had certain assets and liabilities on its books. And the difference of that constituted a capital that it brought. You are saying that regardless of the infractions that were seen yes. through these exercises, yes. the, the solution ought to have been corrective that does not include a collapse. Yes. In fact, in this law, they mention, they tell you what are the correction measures you take when a bank is undercapitalized. What are the corrective measures you take when a bank is significantly undercapitalized. You are pumping money in and the money you are Where pumping is the in money? is not coming Which back. Which money have you pumped As we in? know, they were paying back, but most of them were paying back the interest on the money that was given to them by the Bank of Ghana. No, let me tell you. Bank of Ghana doesn't lose a dime. Do you know why? You can't give liquidity to a bank without collateralization. Every single penny of the 610 million was properly collateralized. Even in the old regime. In this new regime, section 46H, says that if it even defines the quality of the collateralization. It tells you that it must be 91-day government securities. Mm. That is the level of liquidity that is required. Okay. In order. So mm. my biggest point is that we were told a lot of things, and a certain narrative was pumped out, that 610 million was shared among shareholders, and that was the reason we, we had to close the bank, mm. and all of that. My question is, the action that is taken, does it answer the question whether or not legally this bank should have been. And I would wish okay. to get the Attorney General's <clears throat> legal opinion All right. on it's, it's, the bank's licenses so, that were revoked, so it's whether interesting. it and, agrees with And that. as you suggest, uh, <laughs> some of them in the civil processes are seeking, like you have heard uh, ACNC, to take back their banks. That's where you stand. Um, Koku, I, I don't know. How do you proceed from the points uh, that uh, he brings up? So why, if the Bank of Ghana feels that I'm in distress and it has given me money and I use the money in ways that the bank is not happy, it should be entitled to <coughs> say, I'll collapse you and then I'll prosecute you. Not so? Well, maybe not in all cases. You must do analysis on each case on its own merit. Mm. I'm not competent to deal with this issues, let's be honest. And yesterday I was telling your producer to get the people with the requisite expertise and competence to interrogate this. Uh, he refused. So they, yeah. But I've been going through this document, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. which is uh, it's titled Project Eagle. Mm -hmm. Investigations into certain suspicious transactions relating to UT Bank and Capital Bank. It was done by Pricewater House Coopers. Yeah. I'll tell you honestly, what I see here, if they are genuinely a genuine reflection of the operations of the two banks, then it's unpardonable. Mm -hmm. Share with us. It's a, it's a long story. Look, there are too many of them. Mm. For instance, some liquidity support that was given, nearly 500 million uh, CDs. They, they, they treated it anyhow. They gave it to themselves as personal loans, shareholders' loans, and all that. It's bazaar. They explained that. They said they didn't give oh, any money please, to anybody. Take your time and read this document. Mm -hmm. And that they decided to assume the debt as shareholders. Look, no, they, there's so, a portion of us sharing yeah. the money in sacks. It's, it's all here. Sacks. See, see, see. Sacks. They, they didn't even pay so back. Let's, the <laughs> maybe back. They didn't yeah, even pay back. back. Okay. That's what I'm on asking him to share the details <laughs> rather than say he won't share. Get into they, the they, details. They, 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 he's he's kind of, of, maybe it's not fair. <laughs> Why is it not fair? Because of the court matter. Because they've reached the stage of the court. If they hadn't reached the stage of the court, I would feel very comfortable mm. giving the details. Okay. But because of where they've reached, uh, you are saying that it's Tuesday you are going to court. Yes. So if I were filed I, I, yes, I, I, I feel a bit uncomfortable about that. Mm -hmm. But what I read here, 
they were killing their own child. Nobody, Nobody killed, killed the child. Mm. <laughs> so my brother's analogy, mm. it's complicated. I am unable to admit it. But you don't help us with the, the, the specifics of the basis. <laughs> yes. I don't think it's... See, see, it's, it's not right. Just let the court deal with the matter. Is it a classified right? document you're holding? I'm not sure it is. Uh -huh. Well, there's a confidential information yes, confidential, for the sole but, benefit. But has it been out, of, use, out in the public? I don't know. Boulders, public? Boulders, P, P, yeah, PWC. But this one, this one, mm. this one, I haven't seen it in the public. That's what they write, but in the end, it's all in the public, yes. isn't it? <laughs> see, mm. the shareholders through directors of CMB took personal loans amounting to 12.6 million Ghana cities in contravention of section 74, 74 of Act 930. Mm -hmm. You are holding it, whether that's true or not. In depthiness of the shareholders and directors, you, you see. Heard, you heard uh, Yoniko Lendi here when the matter began, mm -hmm. and he explained that these were not monies they took, but these were the bank's own generational see, legacy look, issues. Look. And they decided to make them into loans mm -hmm. so they will pay back, mm -hmm. you know, in a way managing the bank to survival. Mm -hmm. So he spoke about the good bank and the bad bank. Okay. Well, I don't know as I said, I like the competence. Make, make <laughs> to if, I, if I can say something uh, on uh, it. Let, let him finish. Let Kuku finish. Yeah. What I read here mm. is not in Chinese. Okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so it hits me, you yeah. know. Uh, my brother, I don't want to prejudice the matter. Mm -hmm. I'll give this, if you like, you, I'll give a copy to you. Next mm -hmm. time if we can, you can read through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, I have very good reasons for what yeah. I'm doing. Something if I can. can yeah. you, want to, you want to give it to me? Yes, I'll give it to you. Yeah, now, now, now. Okay. Now, so that I read. <laughs> you don't want to read. The portion you want, you, you wanted to read that you are... You are restraining from okay, reading. You go, let him come. Yeah, let me just. You see, who is refusing to yeah, give it to no. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, go so, ahead. what go I wanted to say is that if they are quoting section, uh, what do you call it, Act 930, mm -hmm. when did this occur? Because this Act 930 was assented to in September 2016. Mm -hmm. And under section 160 of that, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. there are transitional provisions mm -hmm. that holds a moratorium up for six months. Mm -hmm. So it really would apply to the banks in terms of compliance mm -hmm. from somewhere February, March 2017. Mm -hmm. We are dealing with matters of 2015 and 2016. Mm -hmm. So if an, somebody quotes an offense in, 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 in a law that took effect mm -hmm. from after mm -hmm. September 2016, mm -hmm. and we are dealing with matters of 2015, mm -hmm. I have a big challenge. Mm. I have a big challenge. So, so these are matters that we need to interrogate first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, 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 whilst you make your intervention, whilst you make your intervention, whilst you make your intervention, let me do this. Koku, which page did you want to read? I want to go there. Because these documents have been available longer. Just tell me the page. He will do the Tell me the page. I'll go there. I'll go there. Okay, let them do that. I have it. I have a copy. Tell me the page. I'll go there. I wanted to say this. I wanted to read the page once. And I'll read for you. Because of what he has raised, which is so fundamental. If you look at the charges, we didn't charge him under this act. Act 930. Yes. Honorable Adongo's explanation is justified because of retroactivity. You cannot do that by law. Mm -hmm. So we didn't charge them under this. If you go and read it carefully. Because otherwise, we would have just given a, a blanket check to lawyers to yes, throw us out see, as soon as arrived, we arrived there. Those actions yes. said killed. But you see, they, no, they, they I mean, before they come into effect of this, there was earlier, exactly. I mean, uh, yeah. laws. Mm -hmm. And then those ones will actually hold any person exactly. who acted contrary. But you cannot charge the person under exactly. 930. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He's right in, in that direction. OK. Yeah. So, w what do you say to this, 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 uh, this lawyer who used to work in your, where you work now, who has written an article and also come public to say that the law that regulates these processes and the banking, all of that, the charges you have brought, that law does not criminalize the things you have called criminal. So, what are you up to? You, you know, I, I listened to Eli Klim. Yes, Agbamava. Agbamava. And he made that point very clear. Our law is saying that any conduct you engage in, there should be a law that criminalizes it and a punishment prescribed for it. Otherwise, to that extent, it's a nullity. Mm -hmm. That's what our law says. Exactly. So the, what he's probably interrogating 
is whether the charges we have preferred against the person are backed by law. Mm -hmm. He says you are dealing with a banking business. The banking law has not said what you are saying in court now. No, but you see, that is why I don't want to discuss the merits. Okay. The point is that if someone, for example, steals, mm. he's yeah. in the bank and he steals. Mm. Okay. And then it, it, the bank does not criminalize it. You say that the person should walk away with the money because it is not in Act 930. Mm. When the Parent Act for Prosecution in Ghana is Act uh, 29 mm. of 1960, if an offense is clearly defined there, it's constitutional. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Uh, interesting. So, <laughs> no, he has oh. He just doesn't want to do it. He just doesn't want to do it. He just doesn't want to. I'm even asking for the specific page he wants to read, so I can read from my own. He refuses to. Okay, look, let me take, have it. Take this one. Yeah, read, go to page seven. Um, page seven. Uh, no, I'm opening this thing more than twice. Page seventeen. Yeah. Page seventeen. Uh, the heading here. We noted several unverifiable CB stroke F okay. FCP. You seen it? Page 17. Shareholders loan. It's talking about the shareholders loan. And it says fictitious fixed deposit investment claims made on the bank. We noted that some individuals made fixed deposit investments with capital and more. A company owned by Mr. Atu Asian. These investment certificates were signed by Mr. Atuasian. When the investment matured, Mr. Atuasian requested CB, CB represents Capital Bank, to honor them. The value of the investment honored were subsequently debited to the account of Capital and More held at Capital Bank. Reference to Appendix 11 for schedule showing payments made by Capital Bank on behalf of Capital and More. In addition, we noted several unverifiable capital bank slash FCP investment certificates which were issued by Mr. Atuasian without the knowledge of management of capital bank. Decisions with the former discussions. general manager, discussions with the former general manager of finance of capital bank, Mrs. Christie and Sam Mensa indicated that management only became aware of these investments when they matured and the certificate holders made a claim on Capital Bank, refer to Appendix 12 for copies of the investment. Yeah? You didn't finish. Okay, so what? are there other... No, three start reading them. Are there, are there <laughs> other side? Okay. Um, again? Okay, so I finished on that, on that page. Are there other side? Again, there were instances where the bank was unable to recover matured investments from third parties because these funds were blocked by Mr. Atuasian through funds he had access from these institutions. The, these related to investments made with CDH services and city investments, referred to section 3.6 for the details. Where, where unrecovered, the deposits are debited to capital and more accounts with capital bank these accumulated and were included in the schedule of bad placements converted into shareholders' loans. Yeah, they yes. killed the baby themselves. Okay. No. That's all. Nobody killed the baby. Okay, so the summary of your point is that um, yeah. what, what, what was this money? Is it, is it the, the bailout money or this was no, the this, bank's this, own this, money? This, this is in addition to the bailout money. Okay. The 496. So, uh, Samokujeto, senior lawyer, mm -hmm. says that these monies were given under strict instructions yes, and okay. conditions. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there were people at the Bank of Ghana mm -hmm. who were monitoring and evaluating exactly. all these processes. Exactly. Where are they? I've written it here. That was my next point. Okay, so that go we ahead. we should go back. Go ahead with this in two and minutes. And check those who were in charge of BOG. Mm -hmm. Okay. And their conduct relative to all these things. And okay. these things began, to, there's a report. I'm sure mm -hmm. my brother might have seen it. 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. The Bank of Ghana itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. On these whole things that mm -hmm. were building up. Mm -hmm. The question is, those who were in charge, mm -hmm. what are we doing about them? Yeah. I've okay. looked at it here. Excellent. So, so if, you give him, if, you, if you give me a loan and you were 
you gave it to me under conditions, you, take, you took collateral, mm -hmm. and you did other things. Can you turn back and say I've stolen it? Well, I'm not too sure. And it's I'm actually simple. paying. There's evidence yeah, that I'm right. paying it no, back. I, I think there's an element of oversimplification mm -hmm. in what you are putting across. Yeah. Though I'm not very good in these banking areas. Mm. The first, my instinct is that you have oversimplified the matter. <laughs> But that okay. is what it is. Yeah. Oh, but you, you, shouldn't have, okay. you don't have to come back. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we're simplifying. You don't have to come back. You're in charge. You're in charge. But depending on what you use the money for, if you use it outside mm. what it's dedicated for, for a dishonest purpose, mm. bam, stealing comes in. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. You, you have any further comments? No. Maybe? Okay. Thank you. He summarized um, it for me. Yes. Okay. So in 30 seconds, yeah, what would me, you like to say? My issue is this. Uh, prosecution is going all to go on. We should see the end of this matter. All I'm saying is that all this point to people who are alleged to have misconducted themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, and mm -hmm. these people are separate and distinct from the bank, Capital Bank. Okay. Capital Bank itself mm -hmm. did not do anything untoward and should not have suffered the consequences for the conduct of You others. are saying that we should completely ignore all the no, reports like, no. that you, said you that they did something no, untoward? It is, no, I'm saying that those shareholders and directors mm -hmm. would have done something untoward, okay. but you don't kill the bank for the conduct of those directors and shareholders. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Interesting. Uh, we're done. Okay. I'm sorry, Martin, any uh, one second? Oh, let me uh, wish Sometimes. this my mm. old boy mm. a abortion, happy birthday. An abortion can rescue. Your old boy. An old boy of St. Charles. Uh, you can't abort with child. Yona, okay. Abdullah Yaakubu and Danny. Okay, yeah. Yona, Abdullah Yaakubu. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Yeah, Yeah, Franka. We're done. Yeah, I know I know we're done, but I just wanted Honorable Adungu, my brother, in five seconds, to understand that when repeatedly efforts are being made for the child to survive and it fails and it reaches levels where it's at life support Cassidy and the machine change. is taken out, okay. then the child goes off. Thank you. Uh, my guests have been Abdul Malik Kukubaku, editor in chief of uh, the New Crusading Guide newspaper. Martin Pebu is a lawyer and rights advocate. Um, Joseph Dindiok Penka is MP for Timpani and Deputy Attorney General. Isaac Adomo is MP for Borga Tanga Central. Have a good afternoon. I'm Samson Ladia. Yanini, my outfit as always is by Latida. <laughs>